Let's learn about string operations. Like numbers, you can add two strings together. This puts them side by side in a single new string. This is sometimes called concatenation. You can test if two strings are equal, not equal, or even compare them using less than and greater than. This measures which one comes first in the alphabet. All of these functions return true or false. There's another test you can check with strings using the in operator. This simply checks whether the first string appears in the second. You can also use the not in operator to test the opposite. Subscripting is one of the more powerful and more complex features of strings. When we subscript a string, we extract one or more characters from the string based on the position. We can subscript a string value or variable by using square brackets. Notice the key components. On the left is the name of the variable or the string literal value. Next, we have an opening square bracket. Then we have a number, which is called the index. Finally, we end with a closing square bracket. Here is a weird thing. Computers start counting at zero, not one. So if you want the first character from the string, you need to write zero instead of one. There are mathematical reasons why computers work this way, but ultimately it ends up being more convenient once you get used to it. But you can see in this string that starting from zero, every character, including the space, is assigned an index. I can get out the second R by using index three and the capital P by getting index six. It wouldn't be too useful to only grab out one character at a time, so you can actually grab out more than one by using the subscript range syntax. Inside the square brackets, you put a pair of numbers separated by a colon. The first number is the starting index, and the second number is the closing index. If you use negative numbers as subscript indexes, you can work from the back of the list. If you use negative one, then you get the last character. You can combine positive and negative numbers in your indexes. To go from the start or the end, simply leave the number missing.